Heat and thermal energy, they're both the same thing, right? Wrong. Say you're cooking on your stove and reach over to grab some salt to put in your dish. You accidentally hit the roof of the pan and ouch, the sudden burst of hot temperature left a red patch on your hand. What actually transferred to your hand? Thermal energy or heat? Can they both actually be transferred? Using this example, we know that the stove top contains a high temperature. What's going on is fast vibrations of molecules in this material. This energy is called thermal energy, and the vibrations of the molecules is measured as temperature. As the motion of the molecules increase, the temperature rises. Also, the more atoms or molecules that are in motion, the greater the quantity of heat they transfer. So now here is the transfer of heat from the stovetop to the pan. Thermal energy is just the energy a single substance contains because of vibrations caused by temperature. The term thermal energy itself cannot be used to describe the transfer of energy between two substances. For this, we use the term heat. Now that the heat has transferred to the pan, the thermal energy and temperature of the pan has increased, and when you touch the pan, the same thing occurs. Heat is quickly transferred to your hand, and the thermal energy and temperature of your own hand increases. So, did you actually know the difference between heat and thermal energy? Well, now you do! Thermal energy is the amount of energy a substance contains based on the vibrations of the molecules in it, and heat is the transfer of this energy between two substances of differing temperatures.